What's going on, folks? Life Lessons with Juvie. I am your host, Juvie the Kid. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all that good stuff. At Juvie the Kid, J-U-V-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D. If you haven't already, go check out yesterday's vlog. Check out all the rest of the content on the channel. Literally hours and hours of content to keep you guys entertained. Let's get into the topic. Little Jenny Wren, how long should you keep people in your life that seem to just be there for posterity? An example, an ex's family or an ex. And how do you get rid of them without, beco without it becoming all about ego? Honestly, sometimes there's no like easy way to do it. You just gotta be blunt and you gotta be honest. And not like, I, like I would, I don't know. If you're an ex, like I probably wouldn't like keep in contact with your family. That's just, that's kind of weird. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. Um, but yeah, like I, it's one of those things. Like the whole ego thing. Like for some people, you're not going to be able to help that. Some people are good. Like that's just that's always how they deal with things. They think something is always like against them or you know like a shot against their ego or personality whatever it is uh you got to do what's best for you and you just got to tell them like honestly like like when i knew you like or when we met whatever like i was a different person people change i'm going in a different direction in life now it's nothing personally against you guys but i got to go do my own shit and like be like be my own person you know what i mean so uh, just fucking rip it off like a band-aid. That's what I say. Little Jenny Ren, why do people love a good villain? Why are heroes boring? Okay, it's, it's not that heroes are boring. It's, you get used to seeing them. And you know what's gonna happen. You know, like, the hero overcomes something at the end to beat up the villain and rides away with the girl or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's always done. Like, when it's something that like like a villain that comes in and really shakes up everybody's world and like really like you don't know what's going to happen to the hero people like that so much because it 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 switches up what we know like and what's the like common story we've always seen in movies and shows and everything you know what i mean um a good villain makes us look at ourselves in a way too because uh sometimes like you'll have a villain and as crazy or like as evil as they seem they'll have those shining moments where they say something and they make a lot of sense to you like to you you know what i mean like they they speak to something that you might have always felt or thought or whatever it is or you just you're like fuck that makes sense you know what i mean so it's one of those things like a villain kind of like challenges the tradition of things a villain makes you like look at yourself in a different light uh it's not and it's not that heroes are boring it's just a lot of the time we already know what's going to happen with them you know what i mean um i always i personally i like seeing heroes go through like different types of like uh conflicts like if a hero has like an inner and emotional conflict and everything that real that like has drastic consequences that can add like a very intense factor to the story so i don't know i don't think heroes are boring i just think it's once you get used to kind of seeing somebody always get out of something you're like well he's gonna fucking get out of it like the macgyver effect we always knew he was gonna get out of it so flames fan 6634 how do you feel about religions such as scientology mormons and the like is there a fine line between your beliefs and your rights? For example, religions that have multiple wives and forced marriages. I re rephrase my question to get a more specific answer. Well, let's see what happens, I guess. Um, I honestly, I don't feel any certain way about religions. Uh, some of them are obviously like things they have uh, as like guidelines to live by or uh, like stories they have kind of thing. Um, I think they're silly. You know what I mean? Like they're just outlandish stories um but that's all across the board um i don't really care either way if you believe aliens came down and like created us somehow if you believe some divine power in heaven created us whatever it is i i don't really care either way because if you're a good person 
and you're one of those people that like you, you're not going to judge other people based on their beliefs or whatever like that like I, I don't i don't give a fuck if you're catholic jewish muslim fucking fill in the blank like if you're a good person and like you're just you're a genuine person whatever like you're you're cool in my books man but if you're one of the, if you're a scientologist and you're an asshole and like an extremist about it fuck you <laughs> like i don't know and it's one of those things because it's like you know christians catholics whatever it is like a lot of the time when they are so extreme about it they're very negative about it in a way because like the way they come off to people and the way they uh treat other people and i'm not down for that you know what i mean like to me like that's pretty much you're you're just being a bully in a way and you know i fuck all that like <laughs> but i don't get if you're involved with any religion and you're just a chill person you know you're just whatever then it makes no difference to me at all you know what i mean uh, is there a fine line between your beliefs and your rights? No. There's a very fucking broad line. Um, example, religions, multiple eyes, forced marriages. Uh, I don't really see that as more of like a religion. I see that more as like a, you could chalk that up to tradition of that culture. Um, it's just that's been the way of life for hundreds or thousands of years. Uh, so they don't really know like any different. Like that's just... They're following what their families and everything have done for years and years. So uh, that's more of a tradition thing, or at least like what I would say. Um, your beliefs and your rights are totally different. Um, you have you have the right to uh, be able to speak your opinion openly. You have the right to uh, well. There's a lot of different things. Like I don't know. Because you don't have the right to a positive life, and you don't have the right to a negative life, really. Like it's what you, it's what you put in. You have the you have the right to have an open mind, uh, speak openly, and kind of like explore the world, as long as you're not trying to hurt anybody. Now, if your beliefs are that for certain reasons, like violence is acceptable or whatever. That's not, that's not really for me to say it's not okay. You know what I mean? Because I'm not from that world. I'm not from that culture. I don't know what, like, what the traditions or the histories of certain things are. Um, and honestly, like, people can speculate and be like, oh, well, I've done a lot of research on Google and stuff. Well, that's different than actually living in that culture for like years and years and years of your life you know what i mean it's it's completely different um do i agree with it like would i want to see that type of like treatment in canada for like you know what i mean like i mean like violent punishments no because that's gonna you know it's because we've grown up in such a society that is non-violent in a way uh i think it would like fuck a lot of things up in our world here um but there's a lot of things in like in Canada or the US that other people around the world would probably look at and be like, "Well, that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Like, that, that the fuck does that even mean?" Like, do you think some of the like tribes in the Amazon and everything, like if they hear about like what we do for Christmas, like putting up a fucking tree and wrapping it in lights and plastic little like balls on hooks and everything, you think they're going to be like, "Oh, well that's a dope idea. Good job, guys." Like, no, they're like, what? Why the fuck are you doing that? Like, why? That doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? So it's all... I don't know. It doesn't really bug me either way as long as people aren't being negative. Uh, it doesn't really matter, like, what religion you're part of. It doesn't matter what your beliefs are. Um, if you're a positive person and you don't, you're not out there to hurt anybody or put anybody down, then, like, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything to really say against those people. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Forced marriages, a lot of things, like, I just, I saw those, and I'm going to touch on that quick. Um, forced marriages, arranged marriages, uh, a lot of people, I don't know why, but they just, I think it's just, like, the way, like, society's views are in the recent times. Uh, Muslims aren't the only ones that do arranged marriages. You guys, like, you guys know that, right? Uh, arranged marriages were part of like England's history, Scotland's history. Like that's it was like the way they did things. So like 
I don't know. It's a lot of things where like people will be like, oh well, you know, of course like Muslims would do that or whatever. It's like, man, fucking white people did it too. Like, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. It's it. The, this world is too much of a crazy puzzle to try and just like put a definitive answer on things and be like, you sh you're not allowed to do this. Practice this religion, but you can't have these because that doesn't like. You know what I mean? It's just. It's part of, like, people's lives and their cultures and their traditions and their families. So, as long as it's not hurting anybody, as long as it's not bringing any negativity to anybody's lives around them, uh, it's, you can't really argue against it. You know what I mean? So, I've been your host, Juvie the Kid. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope. Juvie the Kid. J-U-V-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D. Remember to share, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, please. All my quiet kids, freaks, and weirdos, keep being weird.